welcome to Trapped in the Birdcage. Oh boy. Hello. Oh, Chad's moved over. Hold on. Oh, Anna's here. Sorry. Did I shift? You shifted because Anna just got here. <laughs> oh, hello. Wait, here, I'll lean in. Wait. Hold I was. Yeah. I didn't know. Anna just finished her stream on uh, a show, which was great. I watched it. It was lovely. Um, I got I got literally bumped by Anna. Okay, there you go. Okay, Anna's there now. Now we have to find where's Chad? Where's there's there's Chad? Nope, there's Anna. Everyone... All right, back to middle. Back to middle. There you go. <laughs> At least everyone's gonna hear us, so you know we've gotten good. All it says it just says Anna, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I don't know like it just says like Anna. Like is that is that? Now we're just moving around. Now it's just me. Anna's gone full artist. Now she's just represented by text. Yeah, exactly. We love it. It's very modern, very Madonna. <laughs> okay, well, Chad's back. And I think, where's Anna? Oh, there's Anna. Okay, yay! So when Anna comes there, she'll be there. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> we'll be played by a font tonight. Yes, it's a good font. I think it's like Ariel or something. I don't know. I love it. Yeah, Yeah, sans serif. Um, yeah, anyway. Very classy. As you guys can see, our, our good bard, Jimmy, is out. <laughs> yes, thank you, Blue Jay. Blue Jay taught me how to move the windows. I did it. Uh, our good bard, Jimmy, is out. He's going to be at, I believe, EGXL in Canada. So if you see him there, please say hello to him. He's going to be there. He's a good bean. Give him a high five. And unless you're sick, then don't. <laughs> and uh, we are having a guest today, which is... Uh, my husband, oh, Ross. Say hello, Ross. It's, it's me. It's husband, do, Ross. <laughs> it's Ross. What's um, going on, guys? Yeah, so Ross is gonna is gonna be joining us, and uh, once once Anna is alive, I think she's alive. I hear like I hear something in there. There. And nope. she's gone. Nope. She's nope. borrowing her way into this world. Nope. She's <laughs> she's trying to get in. She's trying to get in. Um. Now everyone's windows are messed up again. That's okay. I'm just not gonna touch it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oh, now she's there. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're back. Yay! Anna made it. Hi, sorry. Oh no, you're fine. Congrats on your show. It turned out lovely. I was watching. I was supporting. Thank you. While I was planning your demise. Not oh. Really. No, I'm not Wait, your demise. Bro. I'm not planning your demise. <laughs> Maybe a little. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I am a little bit sick though. So, still, so please, everyone, bear with me. Um. But yes. Yeah, so anyway. Previously in Trapped in the Birdcage, uh, the gang was uh, near the Great Gymnasium. They were uh, looking around trying to find uh, Mother, and uh, they'd totally forgotten about the potion cart that they were supposed to find. I know Reader didn't forget, but everyone else did. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the episode, they saw rats everywhere, and then they were gone, and they're, it's back to normal. So... That's pretty where much where we left off. And now uh, Kylie, our tiefling with a big giant like 80s, 80s hair bun, is standing in front of you. And uh, her little creature Dib is on her shoulder, which is a one-eyed, long-tailed, celestial uh, like little monkey pet is blinking at you, very, very concerned. Um, but she looks at you and she says... I don't get paid enough to deal with these clueless burks. We have to go find that cart because mother isn't in there. And they said she went out to go buy potions for the athletes. And I have a feeling that she might have gone that way. Reader's just looking at everyone else like, this is what I've been saying. She like looks at you and she's, she's like, you're a smart one. You might survive. Reader feels pretty good about that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's daytime. Uh, the athletes are back. You don't know what happened when you had that strange vision. It was it was a it was almost like you weren't in your own reality anymore, and now you are. Uh, did like things that occurred to us uh, seem to persist? Like any damage or anything? Did that did that carry through? Um, no. Interesting. No, it almost seems like you were having some kind of strange, again, vision as the athletes and everyone are still there. And it's, and it's now back to peak, which is daytime in the city of doors, not anti-peak, which is nighttime. There's no sun. It's gross. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's nasty. But uh, Kylie's going to walk off and uh, 
Prince and kind of yell back at you guys and go, Oi, you know where this thing is? Did you have a lead on this, the cart? I don't know where it is. <laughs> uh, Nejma pulls out her scrying mirror and holds it out to okay. uh, Kylie to look at, but not while eyeing the monkey. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, she goes, that's, that trink, that trinket isn't going to help us. We, we have to use skills. And she starts just like looking around on the ground and trying to find anything. She's walking to back towards the great bazaar. We can see all the carts and things like that back where you came from. Um, also I was going to say before I forget, it was, uh, to Hadil's birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Hey, and in my birthday. in my D &D birthday. game on your birthday, you get an item because it's fun. Yeah. So you don't have a special staff, so I'm going to go into uh, Xanathar's Guide to Everything and give you a staff. And so this staff is your birthday present. It doesn't do anything fancy, Ooh. but it's called the Staff of Adornment. So if you place Ooh. an object weighing no more than one pound, such as a shard of crystal, an egg, or a stone, above the tip of the staff while holding it, the object floats an inch from the staff's tip and remains there until it is removed or until the staff is no longer in your possession. The staff can have up to three objects floating over its tip at any given time. While holding the staff, you can make one or more of the objects slowly spin or turn in place. That sounds rad. Thank you so much. So there's your birthday present. It's... Best birthday present ever. It's yes. totally useless, but it's cool. <laughs> I love it. I love useless things. Yeah, so you can just, like, put whatever you want. Even, like, a piece of paper that just is, has a middle finger on it. Like, whatever. Okay. <laughs> can I can I fold a piece of, like, paper into a paper crane and put it on top? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but give me a performance check. Okay. <laughs> give me a roll. All right. Be a good roll. I got another set of dice for my birthday. Please don't let me down. Five. Yay. Well, you can add to that. I know you have you have performance. So in your skills, check out your performance and add whatever that is. It should be your charisma plus your... I think you're proficient in it. Oh. Oh, charisma. Yeah. Okay. So your charisma bonus plus your proficiency bonus. My charisma is 14. Okay. So I think... You plus have, two. So plus two. Okay. So it's still a seven. So it's kind of a shitty crane, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. Someone might think it's a duck. There we go. Still good. <laughs> Still good. I'm just glad it's not a jar of fucking bees. <laughs> no, it is not a jar of bees. That's, that's, no. Uh, not yet, at least. Um, but anyway. So yeah, so Kylie's looking oh, around boy. and she's gonna, she's gonna start searching to see if she can find anything. It doesn't look like she's having any luck. Um, if you want to yeah. follow her, she's going back towards the bazaar. Sure. I, I believe there was a, a, a breadcrumb trail of blood to follow previously. I don't know if it's still there. She she looks at you and she's like, "See, I knew you were smart. Well, can you take me back there?" Uh, do I remember how to get back? Yeah, you do. You you okay. you're, you you remember. I mean, it was chaotic, but you remember. Okay. You were taking notes as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I am, yeah, by the way, keeping track of everyone's crimes. Yeah, your <laughs> book of crimes. I was Good. just gonna ask you. What like, crimes? Hey, did you put anything in your book of crimes? Uh, that data is still being accumulated. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as you go back towards the uh, the blood, you realize that the guards and things are no longer there. And she kind of like gives you a sly look, Will, and she goes, "Pretty good, given the harmonium a laugh. You could be one of my crew one day." The uh, the who? <laughs> and she just laughs and keeps walking. <laughs> Will just pats her pockets where those golden fruits are still, and she's like, <laughs> "Uh, that poor, that poor angel boy." Um, so yeah, so you make your way back to the trail of blood, um, and she sees it as well. So, reader, can you give me a perception check to see if you see where it goes? And she'll, she'll. Check I would well. be happy to. Oh, she did good. Uh, that is an 18. All right, cool. Yeah, you guys are both, you're on it. So you follow this trail of blood, um, or you can follow the trail of blood further into the marketplace, kind of towards a, a darker alleyway, if you so choose. Yeah, I, I believe uh, it is time for us to track and see if there's anyone in need of aid. Is everyone okay with that? Yes. Um, why? Well, 
uh, in general, I believe helping others uh, follows a moral code. Uh, I, I'm, and reader just starts to go on for about like 10 minutes until <laughs> someone stops about the ideas of helping people. Will looks wrapped with attention the entire time. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. You're passing wow. lots of shiny things, by the way, Will. <laughs> what kind of shiny things? <laughs> what you her? What's the biggest <laughs> shiny thing? Um, it's it's well, you pass the same rug merchant thing. You've changed your dress, obviously. Um, but as you're, I mean, you're going towards the alleyway, and the, it it kind of goes from more riches to more just potions, and you know they're shiny, but you might not be able to identify what they are. They're and we're just going. Do I look like? Do I know what a health potion looks like? <laughs> Uh, you can give me an intelligence check. I sure can. Nineteen. <laughs> uh, uh, you do, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Do um, I see any? You do not see any. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but reader, you see as you're going you're kind of leading with kylie and will is looking at everything trying to steal you see this <laughs> this cart come into view and it's kind of like a it's a wooden typical wooden cart with a with bespoke wheels and uh, attached to it is a horse with a uh that's just kind of sitting there eating some razor vine on a on a wall which is a leafy plant that's all around sigil that also has big spikes on it uh but the horse is white and it has like has a tentacle coming out of its chest and it's holding a torch the tentacle is holding a torch i'm i'm sorry what sort of body horror is this <laughs> that's that's what he looks like he's holding a torch have any yeah. of us ever seen a horse with a tentacle coming out of its chest before you have not no uh gross you have not uh so i, I, I think we approach this beast cautiously <laughs> well the cart is kind of turned over like there's only one one piece of wood still attached to the cart and the horse is just there just minding his own business and um <clears throat> the cart you can see all of the potions have been either destroyed or knocked out but you'll need to get closer to to really investigate the situation but that's where the trail of blood leads and you're in an alleyway covered in razor vine which is this green gray plant that has really spiky leaves and these massive thorns just hanging off of it are there any wealthy looking people looking at the cart no this is there's no wealth there's no people around actually you've kind of gone into a a corner of of this dark this dark vine it, so it looks like the cart is like is like in an alley essentially like a dead end yeah you would say it's an alley but there's it, but there's no buildings per se in this alleyway, and if there was, they wouldn't be recognizable. It seems like just old walls and this and this razor vine. Interesting that the cart went here of all places. Uh, I think we should check out the cart first of all. Uh, yeah, I'd like to go. Yeah, head towards yeah. the cart. I guess. Okay, I I will follow. I. I mean, even if uh, Nejma hasn't seen it before, I think by nature of being part of a circus, she's seen some weird shit, but yeah. maybe this isn't the weirdest thing she's seen. Yeah, of course. Um, also, uh, during all of this, Saturn is just sulking because the uh, attractive the attractive uh, athlete turned him down. So he's, he's just, writing a sad song. He's writing, He's just like keeps writing down a sad song, just being like, mm, like crossing it out. So he's just not, he's just checked out right now. Sort of an early Taylor Swift. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, he needs our, time for his craft. Exactly. All right. Uh, who? Kylie is gonna stand watch at this alleyway. She's just kind of. She's there to pretty much lead you places, not do your work for you. She tells you. So, uh, reader, do you want to do the perception check on this cart to kind of search around and it's? Yeah, perception investigation. I was also curious specifically of like the blood trail. If it looks like there's just like one blood trail, and it seems to be going back the way that we, you know, were yeah. at the tea shop. If there's any other yeah, like yeah. footprint. Yeah, give me a check. Uh, if that's a twenty-one. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. You see the the blood trail that was obviously, since you rolled so well, you can tell Wooly, the uh, Bariar's blood that led back to Crone's shop is there. Um, but there's also more blood and another set of tracks that leads away from that in a totally different direction. Um, 
and you actually feel like you might be able to see where that actually goes as well. But you also find one potion that's still that's uh, still intact on the cart, and there's a <laughs> you didn't notice this before, but there's a a big executioner's raven standing on the building looking at you. Uh, what makes it an executioner's raven? raven? And so in Sigil, the executioner the ravens are called executioner's ravens only because they go to where executions happen because that's where they get most of their food and they're they have black wings and gray bodies and they're bigger than normal ravens that's all super creepy yeah <laughs> and so he he kind of nods at the potion and is like bah! and then like flies away uh uh, a heinous deed has most certainly been done here. Uh, and I, I point out the trail to them, but uh, do we want to check out the rest of the card for any other clues? Um, you can, but the potion starts to shake a little bit. Can um, Nejma hold up the scrying mirror to the potion? Like the bottle, hold it over the bottle? Uh, yeah, and when you hold it up to the bottle, it just you can see that there is clearly a creature inside of this bottle. <laughs> and it's kind of like waving <laughs> to get out. Okay, well... Let it out! I absolutely want to let it out. <laughs> okay. He's clearly suffering. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you can pick up the potion bottle if you so desire. Okay, Nejma picks it up and uncorks it. All right, as you uncork it, this disgusting, gross, green, slimy creature just, like, oozes out of it and onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone deserves to have their own free will. Who are you people? What's go? Hello. You look disgusting. <laughs> I'm assuming uh, sort of ooze man. Hello, robot man. Hello. Uh, please identify yourself. Yark, Simama. Must smooth method. What are you? What are you people? What are you about? What do you what do you do? What do you Sorry, I'm tripping balls on pixie dust right now. How, wh... Oh, you have I, some pixie dust? Before we talk oh, about who we all. are. Hey, uh, yes. How did you get in that bottle? By jumping into it. Oh, okay. So nobody put you there. I don't remember. I was high. <laughs> all right, we've all been there. Yeah. Uh, the raven flies down and pecks him on the head and it's like bah! <laughs> Uh, my my good ooze, is it possible you're wanted for some sort of crime? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh um, my gosh, me too. Which one? Like, I don't know, a few. What about you? All of Reader, them. can you crack open your book of crimes? Yeah, I open. Well, I, I flip to a new page. Uh, fast all and put a new entry now for Yox. Oh, also, reader, in the cart you found, uh, hold on one second. Ooh. You found 70 gold in the cart. Oh, my. Uh, Wait, I, who found 70 reader gold? Reader did. You didn't search the cart. Dang it! That, that poor, that poor centaur creature lost his gold. We should return it to him post-haste. <laughs> I can hold it for you if oh, you want. we can use it to buy more pixie dust. I th I think I think I'll be fine with it for now. I don't see why I need to burden you with any more gold holding. <laughs> um, when uh. when Kylie looks back and sees uh, this new party member, she goes, "Oh, ladies, tits! I told her not to send that stupid familiar. Just don't break anything, please." Also, I was on the wrong mic. It's fixed now. <laughs> Good job. I get all those real good guttural okay. grunts. Yeah, I figured that that was that was Yox inside the bottle, and now you're gonna. Be, mm. Yeah. Now I got better audio quality. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Kylie looks back and goes, "That's Crone's familiar." You what? work for the bird? Uh, yeah, I work for the bird thing. Yeah. So it's, it's a living. <laughs> How good of a living would you say it is? I don't die. That's what I mean by a living. You're not compensated in any way, or...? I don't die. Okay. This may be very useful to us, as uh, we found ourselves in quite a few combats that were, how could I say, losing. I know, I haven't lost any 
All of my spells have hit. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I mean, was smothered to fine. death by a rug, just for the record. But uh, whose fault is that, really? Yeah. Maybe don't try and steal stuff, reader. This is true. I should do better. <laughs> Maybe you should write that in your book of crimes. Are you gaslighting, Did you reader? Steal? Flip to a new page that says reader's failures. Oh, and... no. <laughs> I, I feel bad about gaslighting him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nejma turns to Yox and says, have you seen anything strange around this particular what? booth? Have, have you? Yes. Okay. Probably. What have you seen? You. And also, I think there's a part of you still stuck on the inside of the bottle. Do you want oh, that? Oh, that's my just... dick, yes. I want okay, that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cork that. It smells horrific. <laughs> and uh, yeah. she just hands him the bottle with, like, some My stuff. dick in it, yeah. Yep. You can have. I don't want to touch that now. Actually, uh, I'm saving it for later. Can, Nejma, can you give me a perception check while you're looking yes. around? Okay, eleven. Eleven plus two, so thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. All right. You notice. That some that over in the corner where the razor vine is, there's some feet sticking out. Oh boy. Um, I point this out to the rest of the group that I see little feet sticking out. Um, and I am ever dependent on the scrying mirror now because I'm just waiting for a jump scare and <laughs> hold it over the razor vine. See if I can see anything. How expensive um, are the shoes on the feet? I think they're bare. Are they bare feet? No, no, they're shoes. They look like they look like poor people's shoes. Yeah, uh, you don't no, want those. Yeah, they're like worn it. They're leather poor people's shoes. Um, yeah, when you hold up the mirror right now, it's showing you a place that you don't recognize. It's kind of like yellow, yellow, or sorry, red and white. You can kind of see the colors of red and white, and uh, people are exchanging uh, plastic plastic like rect or uh, rectangles for uh buckets of brown delicacies <laughs> the kfc <laughs> i mean you don't know you, you've KFC. never seen this before you've never seen this before the do person... we see a picture of a bearded man who looks uh, kindly is you it do. the colonel well, is do. it reba or you is do. it another actor no it's 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 you think it's possibly possibly an older version and it just looks it looks like a, a a friendly, a friendly man who maybe doesn't like birds. <laughs> so Nejma like gives this scrying here the once over and just decides to tuck it in her bag. After like seeing this vision, she's like, "This does nothing for me," and sticks it <laughs> into her bag. Um, can she go over to the foot and give it like a gentle nudge with her own? Yeah. Um. It it doesn't move. Okay. Um, Nejma looks over her shoulder at Reader and is like, you should help this man. He I'm, looks I'm, like... Yeah, I'm already on it, yes. He, he might be hurt. Or she. Uh, this thing. Help this thing. Call, call a medic. Person. Yeah, help this person. I'd like to try to reach my hands into the brush and pull them out. Like, without, you know, thinking about damage my arms. Um, yeah, you're fine. You, since you have construct arms, the razor vine won't damage you. Yeah! Um, I should be a gardener. I mean, it might just, you know, shave off some wood or something, but you're like, or metal, and you're like, it's fine. It's um, fine. Yeah, what you pull out was what looks like a, a small human boy who has a little, like, a stick with him, and um, he he's dressed in very poor clothes. Like, this must have been some kind of really, really poor urchin. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Nejma is, like, unbelievably sad because Let's she loves children. No! Uh, no looting the body. Is there... A sticky stick. No, you can't have the stick either. You don't... You are the last person that needs a stick. Is there a way for me to... Let's see. Do any sort of check to see if we can find out who he is? Uh, you can search like, his body, yeah, in a, in a non-stealing uh, way. Yes, I would like to search <laughs> his body for identification only. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, give me a, uh, give me, I guess that would be a perception check. I mean, it, or a, um, investigation check? Investigation yeah, if I, if check. I can, investigation? if I can assist with the investigation, yeah. I'd like to. Okay, so okay. you roll two d20s because you're getting an assist from reader, and you take the okay. higher number. Okay, 12, and then... Two. So I'll go with the 12, and then you said it's investigation? Yeah. I have plus four, so 16? Sweet, that's perfect. Um, okay, so you and Reader, while well, Will is searching for things to steal, I'm sure, and wondering what the hell this ooze method is, uh, you actually find a flyer inside his his little his little poor boy clothes, <laughs> um, and on it it says uh, it says Ensign's Discount Elixirs, um, and there's a bunch of things listed on it. It's kind of like you can tell it's enchanted. And um, it says, bring this to Ensign's Elixirs, courtesy of Harry Hatchins. And it's like blinking and there's like a little potion and there's like a little man holding the potion and dancing. Okay. So um... he has that on him and it seems to be that they're on the back of it when you turn it over, there was a list of potion, ordered potions and that he might have been bringing. It says like different, different potions that he, he must have been carrying to this, to this cart, but they're not there. They're not on him. So you're not sure. I think we have a suspect. Holly, how big is the child? Uh, the child, it's just, you know, they're, they're like, they're not like a child. They're like older. Maybe they're a child. Yeah. I don't know. They're like, they're like four, four feet, five feet tall. And four how and tall feet. am I? You are very small. Could I take his clothes? Yeah. No. You can take his clothes. I want to take his pants. Okay. I feel like a reader might need to step in and stop this poor boy. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, you can, can take I... his pants. <laughs> can, can I take we... his pants? Yeah. Can we fight? Yeah. Uh, you can... on this. So you can you can try and grab Yox and do an opposing strength check. No, okay. no point to waste good clothes. All right. So just roll for that yeah. opposing strength. Roll to just grab him. Okay. I got a seventeen. Okay. And uh oh. Oh yeah. So so you do grab. You manage to grab him. And you manage to hold him, but you notice that he's, like, really disgusting and sticky. Oh, boy. And you take two points of damage. Great. <laughs> Poison right. damage. What, what, like, what does that look like? Do I see that damage being taken? Yeah, it's, it, it's like, it's, like, corroding your hands. Like, it's, oh. it's like, acid. I say, get off me. Stop touching me. Now let me All touch right. the boy. No, I you can't. Oh, I mean. You cannot touch the boy. How about this? How about this? Yeah. I will buy you if you help us. No, nope, taking the pants. All You're right, not taking the pants. the pants. What if I'm I bought you nice pants? You're not taking the I pants off. His pants. I'm gonna put on the pants. Did you let go of him, Nejma? No, I will take more damage to save <laughs> this <laughs> poor dead boy's dignity. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can do another opposing strength. To, I'm gonna do another one. I'm rolling for you, Yuck. So, uh, okay, here we go. no, you still can't get away. You're too weak. You can't get those pants. 20. Yeah, you can't get those pants. You're stuck. You cannot pants. have the pants. Uh, my, uh, ooze, ooze, man. Uh, we have procured gold from the victim. I imagine we could buy you pants. Not s soiled nice by death. Shiny pants that rich people have. But these ones smell good. <laughs> We as when a kid dies, he shits himself, and I like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys are having this pants argument, you can hear, you can see that Kylie is talking to someone in the alleyway, and you don't need to make a perception check. You can see it's a person in what look like really gray, tattered robes, and she's kind of just like, "Yes, it's fine," and they start walking towards you. Interest. Uh, I want the pants. I try to points to Yox and goes. He's trying to steal a dead child's pants. This is a monster. Hey, I would like to you robot now. guy. Why don't you write down "bitch" in the, your book of narcs? <gasps> I will. Rude. I will yeah. not write such a word, my man. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd like to try to scoop up the boy, and I am also resistant to poison damage. So if uh, All right. that's a thing. yeah, if you You're go to in arms. Bitch. you can tell that to Nejba and say. And and procure yeah. Yox if you'd like, but the person in the in the robe is still walking towards you, and it's they're they're kind of just shuffling. It's kind of weird. I I think the best thing is to not look like we just murdered a boy. 
Fair. Hey, hey, hey everyone, stay. this robot murdered a boy. <laughs> he murdered a boy in cold blood and he wants his parents. I did no such thing. Reader, let's be honest. Who are they going to believe? A nice warforge or this? Me. Not this. <laughs> At this, this point, the right. person in the robe reaches you and they just, you can see they almost look they almost look like zombie like like their eyes are sunken oh. in and they they hold their hands out and they're just please give me the debtor i don't care if you killed them or not you say debtor well uh, how much the are debtor you the body to pay? hey told you they want the pants i mean a debtor doesn't come without a price i'll tell you if I, i'll tell everyone you murdered them if you don't give them to me well we didn't they don't know that well, Does they her... don't know that you <laughs> didn't murder him either. Yes, they do. Are you sure? Yes, because I'm if... one of... I'm part of the dustmen and I'm here to take the dead. If we give you the body, can you assure me personally that this disgusting earwax person does not get the pants and they will be <laughs> taken care of properly? Will just kind of rolls her we eyes. We're all moving Your towards West, the true are, death. And they start going off about the true death, and they're going, the true death will find all of us. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, that's all fine and well, but I just want to make sure that the booger man doesn't get the pants, and that this <laughs> poor this child will be accurate. laid to rest. <laughs> Reader, the, the road person is, like, kind of touching you, and he's like, I... you will not find the true death. He's, like, touching your face. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to try to hand him the boy and uh, ask, do, do you know who this boy was? Um, as you hand it to him, and he'll he'll take his his dead body, and he goes, "This is one of the light boys. They light the lamps at night and sigil. They also run errands for people around here. I haven't seen this one before, but my guess is that he's from the hive. Looks like it's lights out for him." <laughs> Just but silence. The dustman, silence the dustman just face palms. It's like, uh. <laughs> I will say Nejma does laugh just a little bit because, you know, she likes the jokes. It's a funny joke. Uh, is it common for light boys to meet such a fate? It's very common, unfortunately. Death is around every corner in the city of doors. This one must have not been pretty bright. <laughs> Come to the Be okay. night. So let's go ahead and hand the boy over to the dustman. He will be given a proper goodbye. And he just like grabs him and shuffles away one step at a time. Like this, this guy might be ready to die at any moment himself. So. Well, at least we'll kind of eyes this oozy person. And she's like, where do you come from? That's you, Yox. Uh, oh, me? Oh, You're sorry. the oozy person. I was, I was, I'm still a little high. Uh, I, I came from the, 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 the bird lady. She, she said, go and check out the people. And I just got I was a little high. I got in the bottle. No, Are you from here? Yeah. So what do you know about this place that might help us get out of it? I don't know. Also, do you have any more drugs? <laughs> she doesn't no, need any more drugs. <laughs> you don't know what I need. I know it's not drugs, because it's already hard enough raining this in, and we're not going to get paid if we can't solve the crime. I wasn't going to take them, I was just going to steal them and sell them. As, as, the, so that's actually smart. as the road person shuffles away, you see Kylie hand them a few, a few, a few gold. Like she had obviously yeah, arranged arranged for this road person to take this body so that it would be out of your hands. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So, the wagon's been all searched, though, right? Uh, the wagon has been all searched. Yeah. The only thing you found was the gold and the and Reader found that. Yeah, Reader found the gold and the <laughs> yeah Reader got the gold and the only other thing was the uh uh the. Uh, Ensign's Discount Elixir's pamphlet, which you found on the boy. Um, you also found a little bit of rat fur trapped on one of the spokes. And the, the pony is still there eating the razor <gasps> vine with the torch. It's holding the torch. 
and it's, I, te- and it's chest te- chesticle <laughs> chest tentacle <laughs> <laughs> uh, Will wants to go see if she can approach the pony. Yeah, you can. I, I want to show. Does it seem quite tame? It doesn't seem to really care. It seems to just be kind of hanging out. Can she uncouples it and sees if she can ride it? Um, you can give me an animal handling check for that. <laughs> doesn't seem like it wants to be ridden. It seems like it's more for uh, almost like a uh, like a donkey, like it's used for carts and things like that. I got an eleven. Yeah, you. It's like <laughs> just like flips you with its tentacle. Um, I don't want this. Does anyone else <laughs> want it? No, that's fine. You um, imagine that it belonged to Woolly. Possibly. We should I mean, return this to the poor, to the poor soul. Does it? I mean, can it talk at all, or like, is it just a basic animal has no? no form like, of can you horse, talk? Yeah just like no it just blinks and shakes its head no okay. <laughs> right but that um, implies it understands language so we're fine maybe maybe it's just not in a talking mood um can we go to this elixir cellar uh yeah if you guys if you choose to um well i would like to see where this uh blood trail of footprints leads it might go to the same place if not it's worth yeah, investigating let's, let's find out if it goes to the same place right all right, so um, <clears throat> as you guys try to walk out, Kylie, Kylie's kind of looking around a little strangely. Like the the street in the Great Bazaar where you came out from has a bunch of people in it. Like it is crowded. Hundreds of people are now walking back and forth because it's about it's about peak, which means that it's about noon, and there's tons of people milling around. Um, so she kind of looks at you, and she's just like. Be careful. Hold your pockets. Lots of lots of clueless get bobbed in this place. Will starts shouting like a vendor. Tentacle horse for sale. Good price. In fine health. <laughs> Can Tentacle you... horse. I believe that horse belongs to Wooly. <laughs> it's for sale. For sale. Tentacle horse. Uh, give me a performance check. Nat 20. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> Second one of the night. Jesus. Oh my god. No. Uh yeah, so you've got you got about like four people like I want to buy that tentacle horse. <laughs> she's like petting it and like draping herself across it and she's like it's the finest tentacle horse anyone's ever seen. It can run 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2 seconds. It's uh, its tentacle is the slurpiest tentacle that ever has slurped. <laughs> and she's trying to drive up the price and make them bid against each other. I say, does, do you come with the horse? And then I say, just kidding, you're ugly. <laughs> she winks at him. Uh, yeah, so as you're... <laughs> as you're standing there, um, trying to get more bids on this horse, um, the four people are desperately trying to outbid you and one of them's just like that's the fastest i've ever heard an arcadian pony going and they're like i don't even know what that means what what are miles clearly you've confounded them Mm -hmm. um i'm just dazzling them and i just take so i i make them bid against each other and then as soon as i feel like they've they've bid themselves into a frenzy i take the highest offer and i say sold sold to the is it a gentleman or a lady uh i can't tell uh this... Sold to the beautiful being resplendent with glory who has offered me you notice... 300 gold! <laughs> it's, uh, it was 90 gold. And you notice, you notice mm. that the, uh, the person who bought it is that weird demon who was a big fan of your show from before. <laughs> Yay! And he's Yay! just like, he's like holding a gold and he's like, nah. What's your name, sir? Nah. Nah, you are our favorite patron. Thank you. She takes the gold and she hands the bridle of the the Arcadian pony to him. All right. And I, and I say, careful, it's a very gropey tentacle. <laughs> but if that's your thing, it's it's all right. I, I, nobody's judging. He just, like, climbs up on it and he's just like, <laughs> With our greatest blessing. Uh, yeah, so you made 90 gold from selling an Arcadian pony to a dretch that for some reason is following you guys around. 
and, and does fan. not belong to us. And we don't <laughs> that in your crime book. <laughs> what is belonging, really? Slower. Can anyone really own anything? Yes. I yes, I <laughs> yes. personally own it. This is the basis of foundation of society. I, I just don't, I don't hold with modern societal ideals. I think I've transcended beyond that. You know, I like, I like to think that all of us are a little Reader wiser than the well, masses. Well, she's gold she's... out of her hand to teach her a lesson. Well, uh, what, what are you her... trying to do? I want her to snatch the gold out of her hand just to, to just try to teach okay. her a lesson for an example. That would opposed be like a dex check? Yeah, that would be an opposed, yeah, like dexterity check. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, no. <laughs> 19. Uh, I rolled a two. Oh, no. <laughs> she she jerks it out of your hand and whaps you on the head with it at the same time. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, reader, you get you get knocked in the head. It sounds like uh sounds like someone like like hitting a card table. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I am astounded that you of all people would try to steal something that is rightfully mine. I thought a, a, an example lesson would show you that caring about possessions is a thing even you fall for, but dexterity and your speed has won the day. As it does. Um, you guys are still standing in this group of people. The, the horse is now being led away by this dretch who's just like, you can hear him like as he goes down the street going <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Great. he's having a great time um he'll be back don't worry but kylie's gonna lead you out into the street and and tell you all to just be careful because of, of all the pickpockets but as you go along all of this crowd of people i want you guys to give me a perception check all of you except for you yox no one wants to touch you yeah nobody wants to touch you it's like real life. Uh, that's a non-natural 20. Okay. Seven. All right. Eleven. All right. Uh, With two, so 13. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> Reader and Will, you managed to catch just as a, a small uh, imp tries to pick your pockets. And he's got, like, both of his hands on. It's like, ah! and he runs away. <laughs> Uh, but he didn't, he didn't seem to get anything, right? No, he didn't get anything. But Nejma, you the uh, the imp manages to steal um, something from you. So it's either some gold or something else that you have in your pockets. But I don't know which. I don't know what you have in your pockets. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any other items okay. except for gold. Uh, All right. Yeah, gold and my my pink bead. I have a pink okay. bead. Okay. Well, he steals three gold from you. Okay, well, that sucked. <laughs> Do I That's notice that he does? Yeah, you, you, you actually no, you don't notice. The other two notice, but you don't notice. Okay, but you lose three so gold. I won't do anything about it. I just will be without three gold. <laughs> yeah, you lost three gold. Maybe it'll give him a hot meal. You don't know. Yeah, it might. Um, but yeah, as you walk down the street, there's all these. It's loud. It's really bustling. There's people screaming. There's merchants trying to sell things. Um, and. Uh, Kylie is kind of leading you through the center of this, kind of keeping... She's purposefully trying to keep Will away from the <laughs> from the, the booths along the side so she doesn't steal anything. Um, is, are we still seeing the blood trail, by the way, or the footprints that you we're You are following? following the same footprints, yes. Um, and uh, they're kind of leading you towards closer towards the other section, not the gymnasium, but towards the other end. Um, but as you get to the end, you... The crowd gets so thick, it's completely stopped. It's a traffic jam of people. You can't get past them at all. And Kylie's kind of looking over, and she's just like, Oi, what's going on? And you can't see anything. Uh, I'm, I am I encourage maybe we should hold our belongings above our head to avoid uh, pickpocketing. And I take my bag of gold and just hold it right above. I don't have any belongings. I just, you know... I roll along and just take what life gives, you know? Uh, I'll just yell out, make, make way, we are investigating a murder. <laughs> so is that a persuasion or an intimidation check? Uh, persuasion, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will changes her dress to like a policeman's type outfit. That was a three. <laughs> yeah, someone just goes, Pike off! <laughs> Can we ask people around us what if they know what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, All so, right, so... There's, there's a few people around you. There's a uh, 
there's a few humans. They just look like plain merchants in various robes. Um, there's another dretch. Uh, eh, but it's, this one looks like he might actually be able to talk. And uh, just a sundry a sundry amount of different creatures and things. There's another barriar, another goat person. So you can choose whoever you want to talk to. Um, I will choose the per- uh, person closest to me. Are they the humans or? Yeah, it's the it's a human merchant in a yellow robe, and he's holding he's holding a, some pan pipes to him. He he might be a bard. You don't know. Oh boy, do I want to <laughs> talk to a bard? Um, yeah, I'll, uh, Nejma goes up to him and asks him if he knows what's has everybody stopped. Um. He'll just hold on to his pan pies and be like, Oh, I don't know. It looks like it looks like there might be something up ahead. It's probably bad. I'm very short though. And he looks up and he's he is pretty short. Okay. Um I would like to also ask the Is it Bariar? Yeah, the goat person. Yeah, I'll ask the goat person. Okay. If they know. Um they just uh they just look at you and go, hm. and just turn away rude <laughs> okay i i come up behind her and i'm like excuse me do you know who this is that you're talking to i try to persuade them that they've made a grim mistake <laughs> just to ignore her all right fine uh uh 18 um they for a moment they kind of look at you like hmm like they might have insulted someone they're like I don't know what's going on as much as you do. And they just hoof away. Uh, You see Kylie kind of looking around like she's starting to look really concerned. She's like, I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look ahead. You clueless, you stay here. And she just walks off. As soon as she tells Will to stay here, Will's like standing like this. And she says, stay here. And Will's like. Um, let's see. Can I, because El, uh, Will is human, um, and elves are a little taller. Is there any way, can I, let's see, would I be able to have Reader hoist me up on his shoulders to see if I can see over the crowd? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do I that. I was thinking that same thing. Yeah. Do we need to roll anything for that? No, no, you can just pick, you can pick, you can. Okay. He's strong enough to pick you up. You're—I don't think you're very—you're not super tall. I first start climbing on your shoulders, and I realize you mean the other way. I'm yeah, like, okay. yes, you just like crumple better. to the ground. What, are, what are you doing during all this yox? Trying to put my dick back on <laughs> with a jar. Like I'm, I'm just watching you. Like it's like somebody has a jar of peanut butter and trying to like scrape the last oh. bit off. Peanut butter is no longer tasty to me. Thanks for Sorry, doing that. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's bad for you. I try to stretch it out a bit. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're get not, a few extra inches. You're not fooling anybody. Lift me up, reader. Welcome to the official Dungeons & Dragons channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you, when you get on top of reader's shoulders and you kind of look over the crowd, there's probably about, like, gosh, like 400 people crowding around the a circle and something in the center looks like it's they're staring at something it might be a hole you don't know but i want you all to give me an athletics check hole or acrobatics whatever you feel like oh then uh the then 20. (laughs) okay uh i rolled a one plus or i'm sorry i rolled a three plus one a three and then my acrobatics okay yeah Acrobatics 21. All right. So... My ass about to fall in a hole. You guys feel the ground start to shake, and you hear people around you just screaming as the the entire street begins to cave in. Piece, chunks and pieces of the street are starting to fall into themselves, and you can hear people just, just absolutely, like, cowering and screaming and going in all directions. Reader and Will, you're okay. You managed to hold your feet, but Nishma, you go flying back off of Reader, backwards into the into the crowd. Can I try to catch her? Yeah, you can try and catch her. Yeah, I was going to say, say I, I would feel responsible for that, so I'd like you to try to Is it dex or, like, acrobatics again? You're, I would say uh, it's kind of strength in a way, because you kind of have to stop her fall. 
but it's also okay. in dexterity. So just give me dexterity. I'll, I'll, she's not heavy, so you should be fine. 13. All right. You managed to try and grab her, but you can't really cushion her fall, so she just smashes into you, and you both go falling backwards. Dang it! But you're okay. You don't take any damage. Oh, okay. Good. You just look really sad. Wait, you're not falling into the hole, right? No, like... they fell it backwards into the crowd. Okay. I want to try to fall, so I'm, like, cradling her head, and I'm like... Don't worry, I've got you. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so the so the street starts caving in and everyone's screaming and you kind of you can't see because now there's a ton of dust. Like it's like super small it's super smoggy, dust everywhere. So you're sort of trapped in a way. Uh I'd like to throw myself like over their bodies to try to shield them. The, in case there's any like the townsfolk? Yeah, anyone I see like nearby. Okay. First one I see. All right, yeah, you can do that. Um, it's the panpipe guy, and he's like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to find a find a cutter who will shield you from danger. He winks um, at you. I'm happy to assist. You think he might like robots? <laughs> oh, that's nice. I also like robots. Okay. Well, Yox, what are you doing? You can fly, so you're welcome to fly up. I got my penis back on. <laughs> that was so the sense you were flying you. with your penis. I'm so happy for you and your penis. Um, Why is she face palming? So gross. I, anyway. was, I was shielding my eyes from the glory. You know. <laughs> the morning glory, I have you know. I just woke up. Oh, um, it's really nice. I'm gonna spit on uh, the robot. <laughs> What? Why? Like this. I don't like all the attention he's getting. That's ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous it's, well, man. it's really dusty right now, so you're gonna have to give me disadvantage to hit him. You gotta roll for me, because I, I got no dice. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you still hit him. So you spit on him. <laughs> and on his back, because he's shielding someone from the wreckage. <laughs> protected and innocent and you're spitting on me. Gross. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I have... Can I use Gust of Wind to kind of blow all this dust away so we can figure out what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Gust of Wind. Whoosh. Um, so you cast Gust of Wind and wind blows out all of this dust. And as it does, you can see that there's a massive crater in the street that just goes into utter darkness. It could be a portal, it could be a hole, you don't know. Um, but as you're watching it, you see that there's some kind of creatures crawling out of it. And past it, you start to see some of those blue-skinned, floating goat people you saw before. So they are they have robes on, they're floating, and they have blue skin and white hair, and they have goat horns. And there's about... There's more than you've seen before. There's about six or seven floating towards you, and behind them is something even bigger, and you can't even tell what that is. But they're coming they towards hide. you. You, you hide. You want to hide? May I hide? Yes, you can I hide. I would like to hide. I would like to hide away from this. You're welcome to hide. Um, there are merchant booths around you, various clothing. Seems to be like you're almost in a garment district. So okay. there's robes and clothing and things like that around you, and some of it is scattered from the the from the street collapsing. And you can notice that a couple mm -hmm. of the booths have actually started falling into the into the hole. So they're kind of like closed, just I draping do, everywhere. I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland. I'm like looking like a mannequin. Okay, among I dresses. It. I would like to hide inside of like one of those revolving clothes things that just have like all the ugly clearance rack stuff on. Okay. Them. Yeah, you go Is... to like you go to like like a I don't know, a demon's dress for less and yes. just go into one of those <laughs> rings. Is anyone in danger of falling into the pit? Not currently, no. Okay. I mean, whoever whoever was already falling in, they're got they're falling in. They fell in already. All right. Uh, Sorry I about it. I throw the person I was covering into safety to like the nearest uh, uh, shed away or whatever, like a, ba a bale okay. of hay. You throw Panpipe's guy, and he's like, "Whoa!" And he goes into into one of these <laughs> one of these <laughs> one of these clothing areas. 
Like not not demons dress for less, or maybe it's like angels dress for more, and it's like fancy. Sure, demonic Ross, one of those. Yeah, Gucci Yar. It's Gucci Yar. <laughs> oh my gosh, is there Gucci Yar? Yeah, because Will is so into Gucci. There's a Gucci Yar, yar for sure. Um, has Yox hid anywhere? I start uh, waving my air, my hands and I went, they hit over there, they hit over there. And I pull Can out. Nejma hold out a pair of like really ugly, like curling style pants from the little rock and be like, hey, these smell horrible. Do you want these? Do you want these pants? They smell like asshole. Do you want these? <laughs> I just say. It smells like someone died in them. Like for real. No, because you got your scent on them and I hate you. That's fair, but I'm just saying it smells like somebody like ripped a huge fart in these and i'm just thinking of you so if you want these you can have them are you trying to hit on me you're not my type absolutely not i just don't <laughs> want you to be murdered so if you hide i will Does give this party you have a hr yeah. department you watch i feel i feel unsafe <laughs> you watch as the the blue skin goat people floating up to the up to the uh the hole and they kind of surround it a little bit and they're on the other side from you, but on your side, you notice four gross, undulating, giant centipedes crawling out of the hole. Oh my. And they kind of look like they have weirdly exposed brains. You don't know why, but they're really gross. And they, cl they climb out, and there's four of them now just like in the street. And you also notice that everyone is gone. Like they just disappeared or they like hid? They they beat cheeks out of there. Okay, fair enough. Um, I need you all to give me a check to hide. Yeah. That's stealth. A stealth check, yeah. Oh boy. Uh oh. Eleven. Uh oh. You can yeah. give yourself. You, you're you're also you have cover, which I believe adds like I think it's like plus two or something. It's to AC, right though. Cover? Does it add to stealth? It, I think it adds to stealth too if you have cover. That makes sense. I'm not sure what see. it is. Maybe chat can tell us. I'm. I'm. Uh, that's a that's a nine. I was out in the open. It'd be fair. Okay, I have a twelve with uh, my plus one from stealth. All right, cool. <coughs> Maybe it gives us advantage, Holly. Oh, does it? I'm just making that up because the only cover I found has to do with AC. Oh, it's just. But AC. I think. Okay. It, I think it makes sense that if I had cover, I would have an advantage. Yeah, so I don't know about check. all this sneaky stuff. So yeah, let's just do give you guys advantage. So roll a d20 Sick. and take. Oh the my highest. gosh, I rolled a two on <laughs> my second try. Oh my god. Okay, I rolled eighteen. Oh, okay, half cover is plus two AC. Three fourths cover is plus three AC. So let's just say <clears throat> that you have advantage then, because you're using things to cover yourself. Well, my advantage doesn't help. All right. Um, well, you're all hiding. Uh, Yox, are you hiding? What are you doing? Just hanging out. Yox, Yox I, I is think I, get us all killed. I, I think, to be fair, Holly, I was probably standing down in the open. So I, if, even if I failed my high check, I'm probably still not hidden. Okay, but are you? What are you doing out in the open? Well, I was trying to help. I threw the 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 wood pipe boy. What was it, what's it called? Pan pan oh, flute. Yeah, pan yeah. flute boy. So you tried to save him. Yeah, I was um, looking for other people. If you're standing still out in the open. You're going to see a flash as Kylie zooms in from the side and shoves you into a rack of clothes. Okay, I'll take that. And just bashes you into there. And as you guys are hiding it through your little, like, peepholes, you can see that this hole, it's kind of smoky, and this, the weird centipedes are writhing around, and these goat people have surrounded it. And behind them is, you don't know what it is, but it's a, almost like a, a person, you think? But it's massive. And they're wearing gilded, ornate robes, and their face is covered in blades, like a crown of blades. And no one is around. They're not looking at anything. But this, this thing just floats up with its face just emotionless, like a bronze mask, and looks at this hole and just is standing there. And it's kind of floating with these weird ethereal pieces of cloth hanging from it. And as it's looking at the hole, it sort of nods to these goat people and they start to go down inside and try and like rebuild it and using magic to bring to bring the street back together and slowly the hole forms and closes and this thing just turns around and just floats away 
So it came out of the hole. What? <laughs> no, it came from the other street. Oh. Yeah, and the go people are still there. They're kind of just sweeping, and and as as you see the shadow of this 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 woman, she goes. It was female looking with its hands like this in its robes. Uh, you, as you see the shadow leave, um, people start coming out of the clothes, and it looks like everyone was hiding in the clothes like you were. <laughs> it looks like the whole street had just been hiding in their clothes, <laughs> and they kind of start warily going back to their. Uh, to what they were doing, except for the fact that there is now four giant centipedes in the street, and uh, they're starting to look hungrily at you. She didn't get rid of the centipedes. <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, I just want to have, as she's flying away, I just mutter, "She's beautiful." <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah. So. Obviously now all the merchants as well are just like, oh, get out of my, get out of my booth, and they're like kicking you guys out back into the street. <coughs> Am I just watching that whole time standing there? No, you were, you were, yeah, you were in next to the booth with Nejma, and she was just holding. I imagine you both just totally still. You just like scared, and her holding up a pair of pants. Pants. Um, as Nejma climbs out of the booth, she holds up like a really hideous, like not even hideous, but like. A really dated Hawaiian shirt, and is like, "Can I have this?" <laughs> the the merchant's like, two gold." I'll give it. I'll take it for one. All right. Why are you buying this shirt? The centipede monsters. <laughs> because it's beautiful, and she proceeds to pull it on. Okay, you put on the Hawaiian shirt, and as you do that, <laughs> Yox, you're attacked by one of the centipedes, and <laughs> I would like you to roll initiative. Oh my god. I roll it for you, Yox. Are we all rolling, yeah? Yeah. Will is just like approving of the um the Hawaiian shirt purchase this whole Yay. time. Okay. But she rolls a, a nine, so it probably distracts her. Okay. That was a one. Alright, I got oh twelve. Alright, and later. You got a one? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was so stunned by the <laughs> Lady of Pain's beauty that I was just in my in my tracks. All right, um, yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna help you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Yox, you are actually the first to go. So you man, you do you want to dodge this attack or do you want to fight this centipede right away? This is me. You said. I know it's Yox. Yox oh. is first. Okay, yeah. So. Uh, I want to run behind the robot, and I want to push him forward. <laughs> no, you, so, well, you can run behind him, but that's your action. Yeah. So you can't push him yet. I'm going to push him on the next turn. Okay, so you go <laughs> behind Reader. Yeah. Okay. And at this point, the crowd, the crowds have kind of, uh, just, it seems to be that they're all merchants and they have seen this before and they're like, ah, these these cutters have swords. We're going to let them deal with this. Oh, boy. Um, all right, so you go behind them. And then next up is Nejma. So there's four of these centipedes there and they they look gross yeah. and angry. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. So they like, gross and angry. Can I? Oh. Flame. Let's do a fire spell. Can I do? Um. Let's see. Can I do burning hands? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I think uh, did I get that damage before I forget? Do do do. Yeah, my caps is on. Oops. I don't want to miss... yell that. I misspoke before. Uh, when I was describing a Hawaiian shirt, I was actually <laughs> thinking of a acid wash vest. Okay. But they're not the same garment. Okay. No, much no. better. You, much better. Yeah, you can put on an acid wash vest. That's fine. Um, all right. He needs to do a saving throw. Oh no! He rolled a twenty. That's okay. There will one. There's four. So. Uh... Okay, so only one saves, so the rest take full damage. Okay. So that's four. 
Oh, I roll. I just rolled for you. I don't know why I did that. Oh. Roll your damage, which is three d six. I don't know. I was rolling for Yox. I was getting confused. I was like, I did it for you. And you said it was a d six. Yeah, so it's three d six okay. three times. Okay, so first one is a four. Six. Four. Okay. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so you do 14 damage to three of them, and they're all, like, on fire. They're like, nah. They're still alive, but they, they look pretty burnt. And then the other one, I think half of 14 is what? Eight? Yeah. The other you do eight damage. And so he's still he's still coming at you hissing. Oh, boy. But uh, am, is it so my turn, or is my turn over? Uh, your turn is over. Okay. Um. All right, so next up is... <laughs> the baddies. <laughs> All right, baddies. So they're gonna try and go after Reader. I'm guessing you're at the front now, because yeah, I, behind I was you. dead in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So they're gonna go after you. The first one misses. The next one hits, misses, hits. So two hit you. Damn. I know. Yeah, two hit you, and they're gonna do. Let's see. Three. So, eight damage. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> They're going to do eight damage. They're like, Ta -ta! <laughs> with their big, nasty math. I know. Someone in chat is like, math, that's me. I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, well, I get an extra point of damage because it's my birthday, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have your so cool decided. staff now with the duck yeah, on top. Um, all right. So, that is the bad guys. They all went after Reader because you were out at the front. Uh, next mm -hmm. up is Will. It's your turn, Will. What are you going to do? One of them, so they're in melee with Reader. Because mm -hmm. they were after Yox, <laughs> and Yox went behind Reader. <laughs> mm -hmm. So can I sneak attack the ones that are in melee with, or one of the ones that's in melee with Reader? Yes. Yeah, they're awesome. all in melee with Reader. They've all kind of come around like... I think I can only sneak attack one person. Okay. One being. Yeah. So I sneak attack the one that looks... The most threatening to reader. Okay, and yeah, three of them are are pretty badly injured, and then one is only a little bit injured. I take one of the ones that's badly injured. Okay, all right, go ahead and roll me to hit. A nine. Yeah, that that misses. I'm sorry. Cool. <laughs> that was a that was a, that was. A Never miss. mind. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, okay, so you try to stab them. You miss. It's a big, I mean, he's kind of wriggly. It's fine. You've had, you've had harder I try to play it off like it was on purpose. Oh, <laughs> you're just like, whoops! Oh, I didn't know that you would move. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, so next up is Reader. It's finally your turn. Okay. Uh, oh, can I also use? Sorry, I'm learning how to be a rogue. Can I use my cunning action to disengage after that too? Yes. Yeah, you can. Cool. I know rogues have too many abilities. <laughs> yeah, I'm also learning these too, so this will be a fun uh, experience. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to use one of my class actions to do like uh, insightful fighting, so I can determine like the centipede's weak spot. Okay. Uh, and I think it's a wisdom uh, insight check against the opponent's charisma check. Yes. Or it's a deception check, so like, do I need to roll? I need yeah. to roll inside against. Them, yeah, right? you roll, and then I'll roll against you. Oh boy, that is a ten. Um, you not actually, great. you are good. You get it. He does not have I a lot of charisma. Don't have high charisma, yeah. Uh, so that means I can sneak attack even when I normally wouldn't be able to. Right. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, so I will pull out my sword and do a sneak attack on the one closest to me. Okay. Uh, and that would be uh, I'm rolling a d twenty to hit that one, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is a 16. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay, and then damage. Uh, before. All right. So, so yeah, you do some damage to him, but he's still centipeding your way. He's like, nah. Are these just basically, like, taxons from Animorphs? Yeah, yes, yes, they're taxons from Animorphs. <laughs> that's what you're fighting. Thank you, Chad. Is that what this is? I'm this probably. whole story is actually just a story of Animorphs. <laughs> yes, I knew it! <laughs> I mean, animorphs fucked me up as a kid. So far. <laughs> I love the animorphs. Animorphs were the best. <laughs> they were, heavy. but like there was some nightmare, like Junji Ito nonsense. There in was. There. <laughs> there was. God. It's like, 
Hadil, how did you get your love of body horror, Animorphs? <laughs> oh yeah, because every every book of Animorphs had one of the main characters scooping their organs back into their bodies. It's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> um, that's gonna anyway. be you, Chad. Oh, that's gonna be me scooping my organs into my body. Cool. Readers, I can't wait. The reader's gonna be scooping his organs back in. This meth parts. <laughs> um. Anyway, we're back up to Yox. It's your turn. I push him over. <laughs> Man, how much does Yox weigh, Holly? <laughs> um, more than most methods, but not that much. Is it more than a pound? Um, he's probably like five pounds. Damn it, I was gonna put him on top of my staff. Yeah, it's definitely it's more than a pound. He's, he's, he's portly. <laughs> he's portly. He's portly? Yeah. Mm. Um, you have to strength check to push Reader over. And I'm gonna give you disadvantage, because Reader's <laughs> a lot bigger than you. <laughs> And you're kind of oh, oozy and slippery, too. Yeah, you don't push him over. You just stick to his back. Yeah, the cat. So, Yox, you just try to push him over <laughs> and you just go... And just, like, stick to his back like one of those sticky hands. Like, like stretch arms. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah, one of those yeah. sticky hands. Well, I'm safe here. stuck to my butt. Yeah, so he's just stuck to your back now. Okay. Good job. Thank you for the assist! <laughs> um, you're welcome. It's now Nejma's turn. All right. I have a feeling, like, Nejma sees Yox clearly trying to sabotage this whole thing. And um, he may not be one pound, but he's less than ten. So I'd like to cast Mage Hand to grab onto <laughs> him and pull him away. Okay. Put him somewhere else, like, maybe on top of, like, a refrigerator or in a garment rack. Just, like, stick him to the side of a wall. Like a Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you can do that. I'm not even going to make you check for it because he's stuck to Reader at the moment. So you can just grab him from his little scruffy back and he's just floating in the air. But I, I'm not going to let you push him on anything. Your action is just to grab him and have him be floating. <laughs> can he kick his little legs too? He is kicking his little Yeah. Is that what you're but... doing, Yox? You tell us. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining like a like a like a little fat Danny DeVito covered in peanut butter from Vine. <laughs> Ew! Like, God. Also high as balls. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh God. All right. So you have you have uh, waylaid Yox, and he's no longer a threat, <clears throat> or whatever he was doing. He was supposed to be helping you, but I, you know he has agency, so I'm not going to stop him. Um, next up is the baddies. Uh, Will, you disengage, so they're gonna go after Reader again. Ooh. Okay, so two hit, and one crits, unfortunately. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, we didn't heal between rounds, right? Or tur games. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, is Saturn there? Is Saturn helping us? Um, so I'm gonna say that Saturn is there. Um, he's not really engaging in the fight, but he is, he's, could probably heal you if you ask okay. him nicely, but he doesn't have the emotional countenance right now to take over a fighting. And he was really upset over that one yeah. muscle band, dude. Yeah. 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 He's really upset right now. Okay. Um, how much damage do I take? So you take 12 damage. <laughs> All I'm knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> You see a reader, the, the centipedes are like, and he just goes down again. As I go down, I go, avenge the boy. <laughs> Can there be a game where reader doesn't get knocked out? Yeah, this is becoming, well, this is so becoming a trend. I'm going to say that, that Saturn, Saturn decides to join the fray right after that and cast cure wounds on you. Thank so, God. So wait for his turn before I'm back up. Yeah, so I'm going to say, uh, hold on, let me see how much damage. He'll, he'll come into the fray. Just because you guys, need, you guys need the help. This is what I, I deserve. I, po I point and laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, is he still stuck to me? Because if I fall down, I think I fall down on No, okay. on no. he's floating. No, he's no, floating, sorry. unfortunately. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have crushed him. And, you yeah. know, that would have been cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, you take nine, you get nine, nine back as, as Saturn remembers that he has a party. And so I no fall longer... down and immediately get back up. Okay. Yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. just want to throw that Saturn, out there. Saturn walks over and he's just, all right. And then he walks back and just starts playing his triangle. <laughs> cool. He was really into that guy, so it's really hard for him right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing. <clears throat> okay. 
Don't, worry, don't worry about us dying. Just yeah. like nurse your heart. You yeah. Know? yeah, Saturn. Take care of you. Self care. Yeah. Saturn's just like, thank you. And <laughs> walks away. Um, oh my gosh. Who was, who went, uh, reader? So the baddies just attacked, the baddies right? Baddies just attacked. Got it. It is, um, Will's turn. That's right. I try again. Okay. To sneak attack with my dagger. All right. No, not my dagger. My short sword. Okay. Is that okay? Eleven! Uh, that does not hit. Will is you missed not it. feeling it today. <laughs> she's just like... You're too distracted by the clothes. Yeah, she's she, she's got stars in her eyes looking at Gucci R while she's trying yeah, to I mean, you could go Cindy. steal from Gucci R while Reader gets knocked out again. You know, that idea just occurs to me, <laughs> and I disengage this. again. Why? Toward Why Gucci did you R. Say I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I can't help you. They're gonna take me Visser Three. What are you doing? <laughs> They're gonna kill me. Mr. Three? That's a name I've not heard in a long time. <laughs> uh, I, I think about up. it often. Um, alright. Then it is, uh, it's your turn, reader. God! I, am I watching a Will run yeah. away at this point? Yeah, you know, God. you see the thought, like, cross her mind. She's like, hmm, and then she just, like, she just leaves. Well, she's, like, trying to stab the centipede, and she's like, well, I tried, you know? She tried okay. twice. She wasn't helping. She can't heal anything. So she's like, well, I might as well, you know, Gucci R is right over there. So. All right. Well, I'm not down yet. And I, I still have my insightful fighting for a minute on this current target. So I'll do another roll. Uh, that is a eight attack. Uh, I don't think it's going to land. Uh, no, it does not. It does I not. think seeing Will run away shook my confidence. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we're Maybe it's just a distraction, you know? Could be. Um, we're back up to Yox. What do you do, Yox? You're in the air. You have abilities to help your friends. <laughs> yeah, we're friends now. I don't now. know any of their names. I'm Reader. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm going to, um, what are the, my abilities again, Holly? Uh, so, you can, uh, ooze belch onto things. Mm -hmm. uh, which will stick them to the ground. You can mm -hmm. also hit them uh, with your gloved fists, and it's plus three to hit, and it does 1d6 plus one damage, or you can take your gloves off and do 1d6 plus four poison damage. I want to ooze belch. Okay. Um, so you want to try and get them stuck? Yeah. Okay, so you throw up ooze onto these these four centipedes, and even they're grossed out, and they're fucking centipedes. <coughs> Let's see... Alright, so two fail and two succeed. So two are stuck to the ground in ooze. You're welcome. And you guys don't really know what happened, but it didn't seem to damage them. You just, like, the gross thing just, like, spurted out some ooze. But, I mean, they're stuck and they're not mobile now. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so they, they, they won't even... I think they're... They, yeah, they're immobile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I lost my... Okay, uh, all right, we're back up to Nejma. Okay, let's see. I would like to cast Magic Missiles. All right. Um, would you like to cast them on one for each centipede? Or... Because I have three... Three missiles at a time. Yeah. Three darts. Um, and there are there still three or are there four? There's four, but one looks more hurt than the others. Okay. Um, I want since I have three, I want to at least use one on the one that looks really hurt. Um All right. and then the rest whoever looks the hurtiest. Okay, the, all the other ones are about the same amount of hurt. But okay, the most so... the two of them are restrained by the ooze. Okay. So I'll do the two that are restrained and then the one that looks real hurt. Okay. And I think that is a 1d4 plus 1? Yes. Okay. So For each missile, yeah. Alright, is that the one that looks like a pyramid on top yes, of each other? Yes, a little high okay. pyramid, this guy. Ooh. Wait. 
What does it look like? The Illuminati symbol. The Illuminati okay. symbol. All right, fantastic. Yeah, perfect. And so, how, so two is the number at the top. All right. And then I do that three more times. Yep. Four. Okay. One. All right. And four plus one. Oh, okay. So, so you managed to kill the one that's that's uh, the most hurt, and it's it curls up like a grub, like, mm. and that one is dead. Yay! Yay. Well done. You, you see, the merchants are like, yay, and the hey, I the look direct... back over my shoulder, like, good job, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the dretch on the horse is back, and he's like, yay, <laughs> yay. Um, Love that man. So yeah, so you managed to kill one. The others are still up, but they look really badly hurt. Okay. Um, and so. Um, all right. So next up is them. So they're gonna try and. Okay, they try to hit you, reader, but they all miss. Huzzah! <laughs> As they try and bite you, you just yell huzzah. <laughs> huzzah! Few merchants. Few merchants are like huzzah. <laughs> Apparently got something started. Um, <coughs> Alright, so they're trying to get you. They miss. Uh, it's back up to you, Yox. What do you want to do? You've trapped two of them. I belch again. <laughs> so you're not, it's just going to do the same thing. Oh, uh, they're still stuck? Yeah, they're still stuck. But I'm still I'm stuck in the air. Do I have any other projectiles? Projectiles? No, but you can, you can like, <laughs> yell to your friend to drop you on one of them. A person who never introduced themselves. Let me go. All right, that's fair. Because um, <laughs> you didn't. So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, hmm. I it does it does appear that Nedjma is like weighing the pros and cons of releasing him from the mage hand, but will have the mage hand drop it directly over the centipedes that are stuck. All right. I run over and I kick her in the shins. <laughs> no, no, you can't. That's not your action. Okay, so you let him go. He yells at you. You let him go. Do you want to take an attack at the centipedes? Yes. Okay, you can hit them. <laughs> I rolled it. I'm gonna roll. Oh yeah, I'm you. That's right. Well, you miss. So this is the most neutral character I've you seen. Try and hit it, you try and hit him with your gloved hands, and you're just, you just, you're too weak. Your little method hands can't hit him. But you are yeah, sticky. Dice for me. You are, you are sticky, and you manage to get some of your sticky poison body onto one of them, and it dies. <laughs> so the one you're on is just you dead. You just poke it. Yeah. You're welcome. He's just dead because your your nasty poison body is on him. You think maybe you were just so nasty yeah. poison body? <laughs> Said the wife to her husband. Yeah, maybe maybe you were just so disgusting that this this creature just gave its life up. It's like I don't want to live anymore. Yeah. It's like I I choose the sweet embrace of death. Yeah. Exactly. Um all right, next up is Nejma. So there's only two left and they're looking really bad shape. So if you want to want to wreck them. All right. I will... Let's see here. Can I cast Magic Missile again? Or did I use that up? Can I only cast it once? Um, I believe... How many spell slots do you have? I have five. You can cast... Okay, so you, you can cast cantrips as many times as you want, but you're probably out of Magic Missile. I think you've done it. A few times. So the earlier spells, like I think, like um, I think you had Scorching Ray. What was your What were your cantrips? Uh, cantrips. I have Light, Prestidigitation, and Mage Hand. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, I did you use five? I don't remember. Let's say you have one more. I don't remember if you used five or not. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've used five yet. I've used Burning Hands, Magic Missiles. Okay, but it hasn't been a day yet, though. So we used oh, Burning okay. Hands before. So I think you do have one left. Okay, we'll just do burning hands one more time. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage, which is 3d6. Okay. Five. Also just- Five. Oh, okay. oh, go ahead. Oh, for fun, just roll me a d20 too. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so three fives and then my d20. 19. Okay, you managed to not set the shops on fire. Aww. Oh, me. <laughs> Just a special check, and uh, as you use your last bit of of fire magic, you're just and the last centipede just curls up and and gets totally fried. But unfortunately, uh, Yox, you're on top of one of them, so you're gonna have Oops. to give me a save versus Nejma's spell save DC. So I'm gonna roll for you to see if you save. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> so you <laughs> so you take a bunch of damage. Hmm. Whoops. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Yox, uh, you pass out from getting caught on fire. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Yox passes out. Oh darn! <laughs> just, just take it. Oops. Yeah. Oh no! I can't oh. believe I've done this. I oh. fart. I fart. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to go back in your in your jar, Yox? Yeah. Okay, Nejma s shoves him very roughly back into his jar and corks it. Okay. I, say bye. I, say, I wake up crispy and I say bye, Smegma, and then... Oh I God. love it. I hate him so much. <laughs> bye. All right, you've dispatched these centipedes. They're now just lying on the ground, and merchants are starting to walk up to them and pick pieces off of them. <laughs> like, eh, hey, cool. I mean, I was in Gucci R while everyone was distracted. Oh yeah, give me something if you want to see what you can steal. Try and steal something from Gucci R. Specifically, Will was looking at shoes. Okay. Like really expensive Gucci R shoes. Um, let's see. Boots. Thigh high Gucci R boots. So you didn't oh, okay. manage to steal thigh high Gucci R boots, but you Dang did. It! You did manage to steal a portrait of a small dog that belonged to the shop's owner. I don't want that, Holly. I want the boots. <laughs> <laughs> it was too hard to get. You get the small dog portrait. I That's give ten it times worse. to Nedma, and I say this reminded me of you. <laughs> Aww. Not sure if that's an insult, but it's very sweet, and I'll take it because I love small animals. That's good. She nods lovingly. Uh, Kylie comes out of one of the clothing shops. She was obviously hiding too, and she, after she had smashed Reader back in, she goes, "I'm so glad that you clueless Burks didn't stand in front of the lady. It would have been so bad." Um, Nejma has yeah, Nejma has um like pretty high history. Is there any way that she would know who the lady is? Um, you can give me a history check, but it's going to be pretty hard because this is very... You wouldn't know about Sigil, really. But okay. you might have heard something. So just do it anyway. See if you see what you get. Okay. So... One. <laughs> you Plus don't four. know. I don't. <laughs> you think her name You're is Visser like... 3. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is that Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce. Was that Beyonce though? <laughs> Beyonce Visser Three is what you've been told by your circus com comrades. <laughs> um, and yeah, so uh, Kylie's just like, we don't don't speak about the lady, but just so you know, you don't get in her path. Anytime you see that on her shadow, you run. Doesn't matter where you are. Is is she evil? Nobody knows. That's enough talking. That hole in the ground, that was bad. That was bad news. We don't know where it came from. It was just there. That's not supposed to happen here. She, like, seems really shooken up about this. Are, are, are the blue skins, like, I don't know if we do know, are they tieflings? Like, what are they? I don't know if we know the race of them. Are they still around? Uh, they are still around cleaning up the street, yeah. Okay. Um, and it, Can we? Go, oh, ahead. go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. I was going to say, can we ask Kylie if this particular event has anything to do with what Crone is asking us to look for? Uh, yeah, you can ask her. Okay. I would like to ask her that thing. Okay. Um, yeah, as you ask her, she goes, <sighs> Crone's a blood. She knows what's happening in this city better than even I do. If it has something to do with it, my guess is yes. So we should ask her and tell her that we saw this... 
Don't say the name. I said that. I whispered it though. She you can hear Beyonce. you. Say oh, we saw Beyonce. You saw Beyonce. I don't know who that is, Beyonce. but you can say that all you want. Okay. You can call. We it. saw As Black Mamba in chat. Said all the single ladies. All the oh, single no. ladies. All the single. Oh, ladies. I'm so what upset if we, okay. by that. I'm done. D and D is over. D and D is over from now on. Crone. Let's go back to Crone and tell her we saw something we shouldn't have seen. But the blood trail you... and the footsteps. <laughs> oh. I was going to insist that you should probably follow the blood trail, considering the trail might go cold. Okay, let's follow the blood trail, but, Rita, write this in your book of crimes. It's not technically a crime, but I don't have any paper on me right now. Which crime I... would you like me to specially mention? Well, I mean, I don't know. Is this... I don't think this is considered a crime, but just write it down, because I don't want to write on this really cute picture of a dog. But just write down that we saw a thing that we have to tell Crone about later. And then we'll follow the blood. You know what the crime do. is? Me not having those boots on my That feet. is a pretty big crime. Saturn, also Saturn writing will, that down. Saturn will walk over and uh, ding his triangle. <laughs> Pat some reassuring. It's like a victory ding. Yeah. Which 100% sounds like a euphemism, but that's fine. Victory <laughs> <Great> ding. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Kylie insists that you should continue following this blood trail. Do you want to loot anything around here? The merchants are kind of digging around these bug bodies. You don't know why. Well, let's investigate them. Maybe there's some more clues. Okay. Uh, do you want to give me an investigation check? Yeah. I want to I wanna cut one of them up with like a tauntaun and see what it looks like. Hey, I'm in a bottle, so can I go pee? Yes, you can go pee. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> go I pee in your bottle. Alone. Yeah, say. All right. 11 plus 4. Okay. All right, so 15. Are yeah. you going to assist again, reader? Are you going to assist, or are you just going to... Oh, sorry, I'll assist, yes. Okay. Um, then you can roll again and see if you get higher. Okay. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, Nejma. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I did roll an 18, if that helps. Oh, I, I got know. a 19. Oh, yay. Four. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> if you notice, these, these centipedes look like they have weird exposed brains, like, sewn onto their heads. Sewn oh. on? Yeah, they're sewn on, like with big stitches. Ew. It seems to be a living, like, a, not a living, but like an actual brain, though. Like, that was... You don't know whose brain it was, but it was definitely, it was someone's brain. Could have been a person, could have been a creature. It's a brain. Can we take a sample? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, reader, a of a reader, why don't you pull off a piece of the brain? We can show it to Crone later. Also, I don't want to get poisoned again, and you have weird robots. Sure, here. I try to use my uh, sword to like cut off a, a a half loaf of brain. Okay. Yeah, um, you can do that, and I don't know, put it in some paper or whatever you feel like. Putting yeah, I'll wrap it like I went to the deli. Yeah, like you went to the <laughs> deli. And There's a sticker on it, like the weight. Yeah, they toss it in the market, like the Seattle fish market. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Um, the merchants. Can I are just pickpocket one of the merchants that's pretty yeah, occupied with looking at a centipede? Hey, you can pick. Hey, go, go for it. You know the drill. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a twenty-two. Oh my god, why are you so good at that? Because <laughs> it's all I've ever done. Yeah, Holly, this um, is your design. Uh, so you get a lemon. A lemon. Mm -hmm. Just a lemon. You can pickpocket okay. someone else if you want more. Did, Why are is you anyone, <laughs> Is anyone wearing Gucci Yara thigh high boots? Um, around you, no. She just sighs sadly. All right, you don't want to try. Pickpockets. And... She pickpockets one more person. Okay, you now have a lemon. If it makes anyone feel any better, you won't get scurvy. Yeah, I, lemons are nice. Lemons are good luck. I have the lemon, and I rolled a thirteen on the next person. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's good enough. What did I get from them? Hold on. What did you get? Uh, you get... <laughs> you actually get... Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? A small mint plant. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I could make, like, a, I don't know, a mojito? Thing? Yeah, you yeah. Got, in yeah. fact, you rolled uh, to get the ingredients for a fine mixed drink if you could find some alcohol. She looks around and sees if there's any alcohol <laughs> vendors. Um, yeah, you do see one. This is a pretty fancy part of the market. You can go buy yourself some booze if you want. Buy, buy, my, buy myself some booze. <laughs> <laughs> the whole store steals some. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, that's a 14 to try to steal a bottle of booze. Yep, you do it. Some fine can, uh, yeah. rum? Is that mojitos you, or rum? Well, yeah, yeah, let's say you get some, some Arcadian rum. Some celestial Sweet. rum. Awesome. And while this is all happening, uh, Reader, you see someone walking towards you. You see a little mechanical creature walking towards you. Oh boy. And it's uh, a, uh, it looks like a square with one little eye. Yeah. He's making his way over. He looks like, he looks like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not a, oh, is it a square? It is a square. No, I'm sorry, it's a circle. I got confused. There's a couple of them, but he looks like this. <laughs> shapes. I know, shapes are hard, just like math, but he looks like this little guy right here. Oops, oops, there, right there. He's, aww. The citizens from Reboot. I know. Mm. These came first, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, probably right. Yeah, so uh, this little guy walk is walking up to you, and uh, he's got paint all over him. Like, he, like almost like brush strokes and like says like graffiti and it says like pike off and like not here Aww. cutter and like different like someone is just drawn all over him. It's kind of rude. Aww. Probably a miscreant youth. Yeah. Uh, I greet him. Greetings, friend. And he kind of he kind of looks up at you with his one big eye and, and waves. How can we assist you? Uh, he he kind of like taps something on his head, like almost like a play button. And you can hear a recording come out of his mouth, and it's a voice that you innately recognize. You don't know how, but the voice says, Dear brother, I am aware of you. You must be terminated. Sorry, man. Whoa, 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 what? And he pushes the button again and just, like, shrugs, and he just, like, starts to wander off. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, all right, yeah, I, I recognize that voice. Oh my god. He just shrugs. Uh, I don't share this with the rest of the group, I think. Uh, yeah, you don't have to sh you don't have to share, clearly, but you recognize it. Hey, is that robot your friend? Are you guys cousins? Uh, that is a gross, uh, uh misjudgment that we're all built <laughs> from... <laughs> if we were built by the same creator, yes, we would be brothers, but, uh... No, I don't believe so. I believe that's a poor scavenger bot. Mm. Yeah, he, as you say that, the monodrone just, like, coughs up some cogs. It's like, oh. <laughs> just, like, holds them out. Will takes them. <laughs> 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 He's just, like, <laughs> he coughs up more. It seems uh, synthetic life is not treated well here in Sigil. <clears throat> he just walks off. He's, he's stamping his mm. little feet and walks off. Uh, um, can I ask Kylie? Uh, Kylie's around, right? Can Kylie I ask is her? around, yeah. Uh, Kylie, what uh, what creature is that? Oh, that's a monodrone. It's one of them mechanist law things. Kind of like you, I guess. Maybe. I think we have very different constructions. She just goes, maybe. Uh, mm. Can I just look around and see if there are other, like, mechanical type people in the area that they're in? Yeah. Yeah. Um... You can look around, and you don't see... You definitely don't see anyone like Reader at all. Um, and you see... You see a few... You see one or two of those same robot-type little creatures, but they're different shapes. There's a mm -hmm. square and a triangle, and they're kind of all, all different. You don't see any other little round ones. Okay. Yeah. But Reader is pretty much the only Warforged in... Yes, yeah, you area. haven't seen any, any others like Reader. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, Kylie kind of motions to you guys. She's like, "Oi, come on! The blood trail's getting cold." Yeah, I really want to follow that that Modron, Modron, right? But I, I think we should go to the blood trail. Yeah. Uh, Nejma looks at her and says, "Well, we can try and find him again later. It's not like he'll be hard to find. There doesn't seem to be very many of them here." You look up, and there's suddenly like forty of them. <laughs> <laughs> Same round ones, just flying by. Awesome. <laughs> No, the, the, the murder is more important. All right, so if you choose to follow Kylie, Kylie's going to lead you down a bunch more of those tight alleyways with a lot of the merchants and things like that. Um, and she's going to lead you to a small, worn-down building that looks like a 
it, definitely a, a busy merchant street, but this place doesn't see as much business as you'd think it would. And uh, outside it says on a big sign, Ensign's Discount Elixirs. And the sign is kind of like shining as if it's enchanted. But you notice that the door is slightly open and you can see chew marks all over it. And from inside you can hear that same noise that you heard before, the, the like rat noises. Well, we should probably go in then. Yes, but with caution. Yes, with caution. Can we try to like sneak in? Would that be a thing? Uh, you can, but that's where we're gonna stop. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Uh, what a twist! What a twist! <laughs> oh my god! I stole a lot of consumables this week. You did. You did. I told you I have a chart just for you, right? Like, just I'm, for me? Yes, I have a stealing chart with a hundred items just for you. I did know that you had a random items checklist, but I didn't know it was specifically yeah, for Will no stealing. one else does it. It's for you and Saturn. Saturn doesn't do it as much. Oh yeah, and just an aside, Saturn uh, is still sad in the corner. And you guys are gonna have to cheer him up next episode. It was a really rough breakup. They were dating for like a millisecond. Yeah, I know. But you know, he, he just, he needed it, really. He needed that. Yeah. He needed that extra love. Maybe, at some point. maybe Will and he can talk it out next time. Yeah, exactly. Oh man. Well, excellent game, you guys. Uh, thank you for not getting mazed. I didn't know where we were gonna go if that happened. So <laughs> <laughs> every episode so far, I assume we're going straight to jail. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's possible. Especially since you have a record of all of our crimes. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, bad. Yeah, literally. Too. Just don't run into the harmonium, and you'll be okay. Um. <laughs> Also, I'm sorry I've had a cold, guys, so I hope it was okay. So I was just, I was, you sounded great. way better. I was, yeah, a we sick, did great. I was a sick bean. Um, let's go around and say what everyone is doing. And thank you, Ross, for joining us. Again, yeah, Ross, yeah. You'll you're welcome. welcome. You can come by anytime as Yox the Ooze Method because they have you in a jar. So if you feel like yeah. in a bottle. So anytime you want to come by. You belong to me now, boy. Yeah. I, Crone doesn't want you back. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a new familiar. I'm your problem now. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Um, all right, let's start with Hadil. Yay, it's me. Hadil. My birthday. Yeah, it birthday! Was your birthday. Happy, oh, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> One year closer to death and entropy. So Woo! hooray! Yay! Um, I haven't done anything exciting lately, but uh, it's, what, is it Thursday? Yes, d and is always on Thursday. Hopefully by Monday, uh, my first episode of my esports podcast will be out, and you can listen to that. <gasps> what esports do you cover? All of them. <gasps> do you cover the, Dota's? She's the sport yes, friend. I'm going to be doing <laughs> sports friend. I'm your sports friend. Um, but it'll be a little bit like Overwatch because they're going up to the end of Series 2, and then some... Uh, Dota, we're going to talk about Smash Bros because they just announced Smash Brothers for Can you believe the Switch. It? That's great. I was shook Is... as hell. Wait. I was literally on camera when someone uh. held up their phone and showed me like the picture of the announcement. We were all like, <gasps> "Does everyone? Okay. Do you guys think it's a port or do you think it's a new game?" I mean, it has to be a better. new game. It has to be new. Yeah. At least, or if at least it's a port, it would be so new bad. Characters uh. like they do like a deluxe or something. That's kind of what I thought it was going to be, honestly. Yeah. But that that'll be on. I'll put that on on Twitter when the first episode, episode zero or whatever, nice. is is live. You so. guys are giving the chat this hot gaming news. They didn't even know. Yeah, sure. yeah. Like that it just game? happened. Splatoon Watch kids D in Smash. Watch yeah. D and D get that that hot sport gaming news. <laughs> <laughs> My guess Bonus. is that, uh, they'll add Crash because he's going to be on Switch soon. Fingers God. crossed for Crash on Smash. Fair. Yes, please. Oh, oh that would be so good. good. It did cloud. I, I, anything's did. possible now. Got a wump all over the place. Yeah. It's fair. How about you, Chad? God damn uh, it, hi. stop! <laughs> I saw that! It's my birthday! Get out! No, D&D yes, is over! My birthday, said... Dab. It's allowed. It's, uh, hi. I'm Chad. Uh, I work on cartoons like Troll Hunters and Unikitty. I've been working on Game of Versus with Ross. Oh, yeah. That's the thing we're doing. It's a good thing. Ross is real cool. Let me work with him on it. Um, you should get excited for that. I do podcasts called Goosebuds, and I do this. And sometimes I stream on Twitch when I'm not working. Uh, you can follow me on Qu at Quantum Theory on all social media channels. Please, please come below and say hi to me. I'm lonely. <laughs> Anna. 
Hi, I'm Anna. I work full time for Twitch as lead producer for Twitch, for Twitch Studios, and we just had the premiere of Stream On like just now before I got here. That's why that's and... I was watching, and I was like, "You look great. I love your lipstick." And it's still on two hours later. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you are interested in learning about being a streamer, supporting awesome streamers watching a cool game show uh, and having your voice heard by being able to vote through Twitch extensions, or you just want to watch a show that I'm in and be supportive and awesome, you can check out twitch.tv slash twitch every Thursday at 3 p.m. Or if you want to watch the first episode, it's still hot and steaming, it's fresh and new, you can just go to twitch.tv slash twitch and go to the videos tab and find the VOD there. You can also co-stream it, so if you're a streamer and you want to use our content to make your content, you can literally just take it from our stream and talk over it. So feel free to do that. And um, also I play lots and lots of D&D &D in addition to the show on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. I play with Holly and Dice Camera Action on the official D&D channel. And we get real dramatic and, and it's real fun. It's a very and different then I, show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, yeah, it, I play a much different character on that show. It's so like, please stop by. Like this show again is always sunny and that show is like days of our lives. <laughs> oh yeah good comparison yeah. yeah uh and then right after that uh on tuesdays i also dm my own show miss clicks dnd lost mine in which we play the fifth edition starter set adventure lost mine of fandelver and i'm just finding my feet i've only done three sessions as a dungeons and dragons dungeon master i've only ever done other games before so i'm learning and having lots of fun and torturing the dm who i've played with for five years <laughs> so that's really fun and i hope you'll stop by at twitch.tv slash misclicks Yay. And how about you, Ross? Uh, I'm Ross. You might know me from uh, the Game Grumps stuff. Uh, but um, I also stream on Twitch every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and Sunday 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm streaming VR stuff, so uh, virtual reality. And then during the week, I sometimes will do uh, random uh, creative streams. And that's that's me. You just just twitch.tv slash Robert Ninja. Go follow me. I'm gonna I'll be streaming tomorrow. Yay. Anyone cares to watch. Go watch Ross. Keep the pants and the Yay. pigeons. <laughs> no. I and, run around and do silly voices, yes. Yes. Um and uh what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh yourself? Myself, yes. Ever you guys know me. I'm Holly. Um, at Holly Connor on Twitter. I play way too much D and D at this point. Um, play on Tuesdays with Anna, and I play uh, on uh, uh, so occasional Sundays with my friend Eric. I play here, and um, do I have any other games? Sometimes on I'm on the C. I was on the C team last time. That was fun. It was great. I play a lot of D and D. At times, I don't know who I am. So. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the show. Um, I noticed before that I got a comment that said I said like too much. I'm sorry. I'm from Southern California. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I take look. If I didn't notice that, it's okay. fine. I take I'm constructive really D and D criticism very seriously, but that one made me laugh because so I was like, oh. mm. I just I, I say the word vor too much. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We talk about how the new like, Mario game is essentially like a Vor Bowser Simulator. Just want to throw Wait, that which out game? <laughs> real quick. There's a new Mario game that was announced in the Nintendo Direct, and it's essentially just like Mario and Luigi get swallowed by Bowser. And I'm like, oh, that was finally. the inside story. Oh, that's the inside Bowser one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I didn't Remake. know what Vor was until oh, I on. had to learn because of our other game and Holly oh, had no. to teach me. Because yeah, I'm the bad one. I had to teach Anna about Vor. I'm sorry. Oh, Vor, anyway. it's everywhere. <laughs> Once you see it, you won't stop seeing it. It's in Pinocchio. Pinocchio is Vor. No. I love it. I am shutting, I'm shutting this game down right now. <laughs> it has to be done now. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Please tune in next week so that we know you don't hate us. And Jimmy will be back from the convention. Again, if you're at EGX, I don't even, what are the names? EG something XL. Jimmy is going to be there. Please say hi to our good friend, Jimmy Wetzel. Give yeah, we love fun. him. He's we a, miss he's him. He's a good boy. He's a good bean. And I will see you guys next week. And so will the rest. Hopefully. Bye. Okay, bye. I'll be bye. back later. Bye.